TOCOM joined Financial Exchanges, TSE, and OSE as a Japan Exchange Group subsidiary in 2019. This year brings the milestone of the fifth anniversary, but how do you see the situation? Tokyo Commodity Exchange, TOCOM, joined JPX Group on October 1st, 2019. I think we can say that this merger puts Tokom on a strong footing to provide services to enormous energy market, as it now has a financial backbone of the group that operates a $5.75 trillion market of Tokyo Stock Exchange and a clearing house that services this market. Today, Tokom offers futures contracts for several types of energy, such as electricity, which was liberalized, in 2016, oil and LNG. Before joining TOCOM, I was a director in charge of energy and other commodity futures in the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry. In this role, I pushed for the liberalization of the giant electricity market that exists in Japan and created the legis legislative framework for electricity futures. In modern society, Electricity is crucial for all kinds of economic activities. We still have plenty of work to do to minimize the risk and ensure the stable, stable supply of electricity in the liberalized market. Are European and U.S. energy companies considering entering the Japanese electricity futures market due to the liberalization of one of the world's largest electric power markets. The volume of electricity consumption in Japan is one of the five largest in the world, along with China, United States, India, and Russia. But none of China, India, or Russia have yet fully liberalized their markets, and regulation in the United States differs by state by state. So we can say that Japan's market is the largest liberalized one in the world under a unified regulatory system. Saying this, so the Japanese electricity market was only liberalized in 2016. Until then, there were only nine large utility companies in the retail business. But around 700 companies have now entered the market, if we include regional mid to small size business. Tokom launched electricity futures in 2019 with 13 participants. Today, about 170 companies participate. The volatile market caused by the sharp rise in fuel price supported this rapid increase. Most of the large utility companies are taking part in our market. The daily settlement, settlement prices of the Tokom market are used as a benchmark when trading electricity in Japan and there is increasing awareness of how to stabilize price through risk hedging on the market. The issue we are tackling now, tack, uh, tackling now is to increase the variety of the uh, participants. More than 90% of the uh, players are domestic utility companies, and there are not enough liquidity providers to be their uh, counterparties. As a result, uh, the volume traded in the Japanese electricity future market is only a few percent of the actual electricity com com uh, consumption volume. While in overseas markets, there are many financial institutions participating, creating volume with several times the uh, consumption volume. The potential of the electricity future market in Japan is huge and there are plenty of business opportunities for both local and global players. TOCOM will introduce weekly contracts on electricity futures on March 18th. Could you explain what were the key factors that influenced this decision? There are some long national holidays in Japan, such as Golden Week around the beginning of May, which caused difficulties in hedging using monthly futures contracts. In addition, we have had requests for shorter-term contracts to enable hedging based on actual weather conditions. In Japan, power generation plants are reported on a weekly basis from Saturday to Friday. So TOCOM has also set its weekly contracts to run from Saturday to Friday to enable those physical traders, such as utility companies, to hedge their physical traders' trades in our future market. 
These weekly contracts are designed with the need of the domestic utility companies in mind, but the smaller size of the contracts will also be convenient for overseas players with less, less experience in our Japanese power market who would like to start trading on a test basis. What is the Japanese government's attitude on enhancing the futures market for Japanese electricity? The regulatory authority, uh, Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, established a study group last November, including traders and experts with goal of announcing a plan to develop our FTC market around the spring this year. Focom then plans to conduct a development program to increase the number of market participants and the volume of trading, while reflecting the study group's discussions. The developing electricity market tends to catch people's attention, but when talking about TOCOM's energy market, many global traders are more familiar with Dubai crude oil futures. How is the situation there? Dubai crude oil futures are our main product. We are pleased to see many domestic and global players are trading on our market. Security companies who issue ETN products products based on Dubai crude oil are playing their um, role as a liquidity provider by hedging their risk in the market. There's also active arbitrage traders between the TOCOM Japanese yen dominated market and the USD dominated markets in London and the US. In response to the demand of hedging long-term risk, TOCOM increased the number of tradable contracts on 15 in September 2021. Although WTI and Brent make up most of the global crude oil market, we will keep our focus on the Dubai crude oil markets since Japan relies most on crude oil products in the Middle East. TOCOM launched LNG futures based on the JKM price in April 2022. It was around that time that the global energy markets became quite chaotic, but how has the market fared since then? Japan still keeps its position as one of the largest importers of LNG. Also, most of the LNG in the world is imported to East Asia. So it's a natural progression for LNG future markets to be opened in this region. 60% of LNG imported in Japan is used for power generation, as Japan has set ambitious carbon emission reduction target for 2030. LNG considers the greenest fossil fuel will play a large role for uh, going forward. Although we received a lot of interest in LNG futures, uh, it was unfortunate that the launch date in April 2022 coincided with the chaos in the global energy market due to the conflict of Ukraine. The margin amount, which shot up the time, is much more stable these days, and interest from overseas players is increasing together with electricity futures. In order to further activate the market, Tokom is working hardly on the spark spread trading, combining our LNG and electricity futures. From this January, we also enabled the use of the trade port screen, which most European energy trade traders have access for off option trading on Tokom. The number of order is increasing gradually. Gradually, the new margin method, which we introduced at last November support this move. The method has been changed from span to value at risk to enable more flexible response to market price fluctuations. As a result, the margin amount has decreased in many cases. We have also made margin offsets between electricity and LNG available to further widen the possible use cases. What will be your next steps? Tokyo Stock Exchange, our sister company at JPX Group, launched a spot market for J Credit, a type of carbon credit last October, and trading volume is increasing steadily. Once we have achieved more stable liquidity in this spot market, we would like to launch a future market. The Japanese government has yet to make a decision on this, but we have a vision to launch a future market for carbon credit 
capacity by 2026. Energy products and carbon credits are two sides of the same coin. As is the case in Europe and the US, we'd like to develop the Japanese future market on these two pillars of energy and carbon. We will keep working to achieve both the promotion of countermeasures counter against the global warming and a stable supply of economically viable energy for the Japanese economy. Thank you for your time today. Thanks again for having me, John. If any of the audience have questions about Tokom or the JPX market, please feel free to contact us. 